here I am. I'm getting a pair of scissors and I'm cutting off most of my hair. I thought it would be a funny shape if I cut all of it off. So I've stuck it down, sort of lower middle on my large piece of A3 paper and I am drawing around my face. So I'm choosing shapes that kind of fit against the skin part of my face. So you can see I'm sketching over the hair bits, which are gonna be painted later and I don't think we're going to notice those too much. We are using different pens. So I have a Sharpie, which is the thick lines, and then I have a 0.8 fine liner, which is doing the thinner lines. So right now on the leaves, you can see I'm doing some thinner lines. I'm adding that for a bit of depth and a bit of detail. So I'm going to mix between the two pens the whole time. I'm using waterproof pens because I want to be able to paint this later on and it's much nicer painting over pens that aren't going to blur because you don't have to worry about going over your lines that you've already done. So a Sharpie will work and so will the other kinds of pens that I've just mentioned. Loads of different fine liners in stationery shops and hopefully you've got some at home. If you don't have those, then you could either use a black pencil, which won't smudge later on, um, rather than a plain, ordinary grey pencil, so you've got a heavier line. Or you could use um, that kind of felt pen anyway, and then instead of using paint later on in your picture, you could use the felt pens for colouring and colour pencils, which won't smudge either. They won't affect your lines. So you can see that I've made mine look a bit like a headdress, I've added loads of flowers and details, loads of extra lines and spaces and shapes, and I've gone right to my edges.